Hi and welcome to Healthing, Healthy Cooking 101 with the sisters. So um, my name is Nicole and this is Diana and today we are going to do a cooking demo of a way to jazz up your rice but before we get into that Diana can you please pray for us? Yes please let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you thanking you for an opportunity to be able to share the wonderful recipes that you have been able to give us. And I pray that even as we do, that it may give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name I've prayed and believed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Great. So um, just a quick intro. Growing up, I thought rice could only be eaten one way, and that was just boiled. Um, I don't know didn't what to do. Her. Yeah, didn't you? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And white. Exactly, white. But um, as I've come to grow older and understand cooking and just, you know, explore different options, I've understood and I've learned that rice can be made in a variety of ways. Different communities. Countless. Yes, different communities all over the world have different ways of making their rice. And who is to stop us from trying every now and then? So today we'll be making the Mexican fried rice. And um, before this we start, this claim is really good, and I've been to Mexico, so like, <laughs> yo, this is good. Yes. So Diana will um, show us the ingredients we are working with today. So of course we have rice, and today we're working with brown rice. We pre-boiled it, as you can see. And even before we continue, you can always do this to kind of use your leftovers but change it up. Mm. So in, instead of eating, you ate rice yesterday and then there's rice left over in the fridge, instead of serving it the same way, you can always choose to fry it. Um, after that, we have um, cut bell peppers. We have the green, the yellow, and the red. Um, we have tomatoes, blended tomatoes. And these tomatoes, I blended them with a little bit of tomato paste, mm. just to add you know, a little kick in there. Um, we have salt. Um, we have a spice mix and in my spice mix as Diana is showing you I have cumin I have garam masala and I have turmeric so those are the three spices I'll be using for today and this is open to anyone whatever spices you like in your home you can always add them and then I have some sweet corn um, which was canned I just drained out the water and um, put it in a bowl and I also have crushed ginger and garlic we all know Ginger and garlic lifts up every meal. Literally, every meal should have ginger and garlic. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'll just put on my fire. And um, this meal doesn't need a lot of oil. So I just put a little bit so that my rice doesn't stick to the bottom. But we have a liquid that will be able to allow it to be fine. So maybe one to two tablespoons of oil is enough. Yeah. And in that case, then you boil your rice, because some people boil their rice with salt and oil. Yes. For this case, you don't have to, because we will use oil in one um, here when we're frying it. Yes, and also adjust. If it's rice you had made prior and you had used salt, you just choose to omit the salt in this step. Yeah. Just you, There's a lot of wiggle room. Just do this and make it to what caters to you and your family. Okay, so yes, please um, pass me the tomatoes, Dan. If you don't mind, yes. So blended. we'll yes, they are blended, and we'll toss them in right in. Just, okay. just put it right in there. Today I'm an able assistant yes. to my baby sister. <laughs> yes, thank you, Diana. Um, yes, okay. um, and then we'll add the ginger and the garlic. Ginger and the garlic. How much do you want? Just maybe two tables, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Yes. That wow. was quite heaped. So the next one, <laughs> I know, I know you can your see obsession. Where I like. <laughs> yes, um, and then the spice mix and spice a bit, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of it? No, all of it. All of it? Yes, all Great. of it. Okay, so it's a spicy Mexican rice. Yes. You wish you were here. But don't worry, try it at home. Try it at home. So um, as this heats up, um, Diana, what's, what version of fried rice um, is your favorite? What version of fried rice? Also, have you put in the salt? No, I haven't yes, put in the salt. Put, Let me put, put in the, the salt, salt before yes. I tell you. Um, how many pinches? That's one. Maybe three. Okay, two, three. I like Spanish rice, and I think it's my sister Sharon who made that once. Like, it's really good. Like, I think it's blended tomatoes. It's a very simple um, 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 recipe, yeah. but again, it's almost like you're cooking. It's like a, you're double cooking like this, mm -hmm. but very minimal, and then it, the color is very rich. It's like red and yellow. Yeah, so I think Spanish rice. I would oh. say that. Okay. Yeah, but on these, I mean, I still enjoy the normal plain rice. 
But on days I'm feeling quite exotic or just going into my <laughs> inner traveler. <laughs> exotic. Yeah. I'll be like, you know what, let's do Mexican, let's do Spanish. Yeah. As or you even see, Pilau. Yeah, my sister travels with her meals clearly. <laughs> so um I think for me I would say my favorite rice is Chinese fried rice. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know most of us only wait to go to Chinese restaurants to have that, but it's such an easy recipe, and I think that's one of my favorite rices. Not to say that all these are not yummy; they are all yummy as well. Mm -hmm. But I think that's 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 the one that stands out for me. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's just starting it's bubbling. To yeah, bubble. we don't want it to coming onto our beautiful faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me reduce the heat a bit. Yes. Yeah. Maybe next time we should do like a segment for like the sisters' favorites, right? Maybe. Sean's favorite, your favorite, my favorite. Let me see what everybody will like. Yes. That would be that could be a good one. Yeah. Are we adding anything else? Yes. I think or now we can bubble? No, I think it's fine now. It will cook as it's already hot, so okay. that's fine. So Dana, please can you add for me the peppers as well as the sweet corn? Okay, so peppers again adding colour to our food. Good way to get your kids for those who have kids. We both don't, but we have a nephew and we have a ne we have two nephews and a niece. Yes. Good way to get them to eat veggies. They would eat them alone, but when you make stir fry rice, they eat it up. I don't know why it's a psychology thing. I don't get it. Maybe when I have kids, I'll get it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, please add me sweet, sweet corn. corn. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we'll just allow that to warm up. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but just wait and see. <laughs> And um, I've seen some people do this. They actually add olives to their fried rice. Yeah. And I hear it's the bomb if you like If olives. you like olives, yes. do that. Yes. This, this, this is, is specifically, there's like a, a base template, template and you can add whatever you want. And just Cheza kama wewe. Whatever is in your pantry. Translate for those who don't speak Swahili, Diana. <laughs> be you. Yes. Do you. Exactly, yes. exactly. Just do but don't it. go overboard. You know, you can't start throwing spinach up in here. I, uh, yeah, just keep it simple, tasty, healthy. Okay, um, Diana, please can you get me a cloth so I can hold this for you? Yeah? Oh, great. Thank you. this do? Yes, that's fine. So I'll just angle it. Then can you carry up the rice? Now we're going to add the fried rice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's the boiled rice. It's too small. Let me get a bigger one. Okay. Okay, um, so Dana will add it for me, um, bit by bit, and you want everything to combine so that the color is even and everything just looks nice and seamless. Yeah. So, and let me put a disclaimer as I add this. You see our rice is quite, it's not, um, how do I say? Lumped. It's Lumpy, not, it's not yes. ugali, it's not... Um, one um, big mass. One big mass. When it's you cook moja, your, moja. Moja, one, moja, one, one. one. Yes. When you cook your rice, Remove it from the, um, the the tin you cooked it and let it cool separately. Then break it apart with a fork. Then yeah. you'll have like... If you leave it in whatever you've cooked it in, it will remain as one. It will almost like coagulate. Then you won't have rice. Exactly. Yeah. So Okay, so just slowly by slowly. Yeah, because we just... We don't want to break the grains of the rice. We still want to see rice in our food. <laughs> just mix it slowly and evenly. And don't be too rough with it so that yeah. you also don't mash up the rice. Mm -hmm. Just want to be very, to very light handed. Yeah. I'm on your cue. Tell me when to go. Just tell me when continue, to stop. Just continue. Continue <laughs> slowly. Just keep adding slowly by slowly. Okay. It's already looking real good. Yes. Just continue. Okay. And the rice is soaking up all those everything you have put spices. in spices. Yeah. It really is soaking it up. Mm -hmm. A bit more? Yes. I actually think we can do all of that. I think so too, yeah. 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 Just dump it all in. So then we can... Yeah. And brown rice keeps you fuller for longer. Fiber sweeps up your gut. Yeah. And we're looking for things to get our gut healthy. Keep us fuller for longer so we don't snack. Good for the waistline. I'm all about the waistline. So it's okay. important when you eat good food. Now that that is in, everything here is... Reduce the heat a bit. 
Okay, everything here is essentially cooked, but we want everything to come together and be one temperature. So we want the sweet corn to be the same temperature as the peppers as mm -hmm. well as the rice and also so that the sauce is evenly distributed on each grain of rice mm -hmm. so that when you take one bite it's consistent through all the bites you take in this rice then you'll be like whoa you know like i just had like a good mexican rice yeah looks really good yes and it's quite colorful when you present this alone somebody may be like i don't even need protein i'll just go all in with this like i'm just good As usual, I'm always the excited one to eat, so can't wait. Just a few can't more wait. minutes so that all the flavors just blend Mixed together. It up, yes. yes. It's good to know these ingredients. What if you have visitors? You know, a kidogo. You shock them. You don't just, you know, plain old rice. Plain old rice. You know. Surprise your visitors when they come see you. Surprise your mother-in-laws or your friends, your family, whoever comes to see you. Yeah. Even the gardener, if you have a gardener, or the watchman. Just do something different for people, yeah. And as you can see, it's actually not that difficult. We've used mm -hmm. very simple and readily available um, ingredients. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when people present food, you might, say, oh my, you might say, oh my gosh, where did they get all these things? Are they available to me? But as you can see, these are... Things that we cook with every day in our homes. Your mamboga on the street has it. If you go to zucchini, they have it. Anyway, um, I think it's ready. As you can see, it's very quick and easy. As long as you have everything of yours prepped, you'll be done in a minute. So, Diana, are you ready for the moment of truth? <laughs> okay. Me. Kindly. Diana is our taste tester for today. Have a taste. Let's do this. How is it? <laughs> you know something is yummy when the person who is eating it is quiet. We just have one more bite, then we decide. When they're quiet, you know you have something right. I think we should all try that then. Yes. Um, I know I say that it's really good, but it really is. If you were here, you would know. So. <laughs> yes, Diana. Thank you so much for tasting. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make Mexican fried rice. I know some t that title sounds like I know. scary, but that's it. Do Mexicans have to come? No. <laughs> they don't. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us for this session. Um, uh, this brings we are come to a close and i hope that you try it and when you try it please um if you ever meet us or you know us personally let us Give know us and, feedback. and tell us your experience Take pictures, share. and and even comment down on the comment section under this video yeah. interact and ask any questions you have and we'll be happy to give you feedback and give you better tips to make this meal much better thank you so much for tuning in bye, bye. be blessed Jadi bujang ni bujang ni bujang ni macam ni.